from the Sunshine State, Florida, the home of Dutyville, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here he is, Buffalo Bob Smith. <laughs> Kids, moms and dads, what time is it? Okay, gang, let's go. so much. Well, today we've got a lot of excitement here in Dutyville. Oh, yes, uh, sir. Buffalo Bob, Buffalo uh, Bob. Hey, it's our good buddy Howdy Doody. Hey, Howdy. <laughs> Hiya, Howdy. What's new, old buddy? Oh, well, hi, kids. And uh, say, Buffalo Bob, yeah, howdy. how about reading us all a story? Hey, a great idea. Tell me, all you peanuts, young and old, how would you like to hear a, a real great story from our Howdy Doody adventure book? Would you like to? Fine, I'll, I'll get the book. Oh, our producer, Mr. Nicholson Muir, I'll call him. Uh, Nicholson Muir. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, and would you... I'm very, very busy. No, no, wait, no, wait. I know you're busy, but look, would you do me a favor? Would yeah, you please yeah. forget about time for a the minute? Time, You're going to have a good time today, I know. The now, budget. The I budget. know the budget. Would you do me a favor and please bring me the Howdy Doody adventure book? Oh. Oh, uh, it, it isn't here. It no, isn't no, no, no. I, I let my nephew take it home for the weekend. He just loves to read those stories. You gave our valuable Howdy Doody adventure book to your nephew? Yeah, uh, Binky. My nephew Binky knows Binky. how to take care of a book. A book. After all. Yes, I know. He's 33 years old. 33. <laughs> Don't forget. No adventure, but, but all the peanuts are waiting here for a story. What in the world are we supposed to do? <clears throat> my nephew is sending the book by messenger. Now, meanwhile. Oh, get on with the shoe. Yes, Our I know. Our sponsors aren't paying for dead air. I know um, all about that, but uh, you should have thought all about that before you gave your nephew the book. Uh, oh, oh, every time I do something wrong, everybody blames me. Be happy, oh. I'm miserable. Be a clown. <laughs> Hi, what's happening, Buffalo Bob? Oh, we got a problem, Happy. What? No adventure book. He gave his nephew the book. Now we're just going to have to make up the show as we go along. Gee, that's too bad we don't have a story. I know. That's what everybody likes. Everybody what? loves stories, but I... What, what? You, you, you were going to tell them a story? You mean you could tell the Peanuts an exciting story? Oh, well, isn't that terrific? All right, kids, when we come back, Clarabella's going to tell us an exciting adventure story. Hey, we can hardly wait, right, gang? Right, okay, Clarabella, that's fine, that's fine. Uh -huh. Okay, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, today's story is going to be told by your favorite clown and mine, Clarabelle Hornbone. Let's give them a nice big welcome, shall we? <laughs> okay, here comes our exciting story. Clarabelle, you go ahead and I'll interpret it for you. You see, whatever he does, I'll interpret it for you so you know what he's... No, 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 what? No, 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 no. You're going to tell a story without any interpret... You mean you don't want me to... You don't want me to interpret? How will they? This is a mark. You want me to stay on the mark? Because I see. All right. Okay, then you tell the story. Jackie, he wants a little music help, a little there, please. Go ahead. Give him a little back. Mm -hmm.
kind of a story is that? Happy. Do you understand Clarabelle's story? I don't understand a word of it, Buffalo Bob. There are no words to understand. How could you understand the words when there are no words? Clarabelle, hold it. Look, this this is not this is not very Clarabelle, it's not working. Don't you understand? We don't under Do you understand the story, Peanuts? Nobody understands the story. Not even. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, I got your seltzer bottle, because I, I know what you were going to do. And I will not give it back to you unless you promise clown's honor that you won't spritz the peanuts. Don't squirt Gert. Don't wet a net. Don't water Walter. Or don't bath Beth over there. That was another one. <laughs> Here, we promise you won't squirt the peanuts. You won't squirt, then I'll give you your bottle back. He won't squirt the peanuts, all right? Caravan, but that's a silly... I was watching you, you clown. I was watching you in the control room, and I've warned you. Squirting these uh, coconuts is a duty of no-no. Peanuts. Now, if you must squirt, you squirt someone your own size. <sighs> squirt someone your own size. What's this you're doing? What? Oh, I suppose I must humor this clown. Uh, what are you doing, you s silly? What a silly clown. What is it you... Oh, God. Oh boy, all the peanuts in the gallery and at home, everybody waiting for a story, and we don't have the adventure book. Yeah. Oh, well, mm. I guess that's showbiz. <laughs> that's not showbiz. That's amateur night. Now, if I were running this show, instead of a Buffalo Blubber Yeah, yeah, here, yeah, I know, I know. You'd what, Mr. Blaster? Well, I'd get right out there and I'd start entertaining that audience. <laughs> First, I would do my brilliant impersonation of uh, Rich Little. Rich Little? Yeah. You what? Oh, yeah. gosh, he's my favorite. Uh, oh, uh, would you do it for us, Mr. Blaster? Please. You really want me to? Yeah. Oh, okay, go ahead. All right. Uh, let me warm up, will you? Uh, I got me, 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 me. All right. Here is my impression of Rich Little. Hi there, folks. It's good to be here again. A funny thing happened to me on the way to the studio. Oh, that's not Rich Little. Mr. Blusser, that sounds like your own voice. Yeah. Well, of course it does, you gloops. That was my impression of Rich Little doing his impression of me. Oh, no. Now, what's the use? <laughs> Nobody around here understands real talent, idiot. Well, what are we going to do, Buffalo Bob? I don't know, Happy. There you are. We've been waiting for you. Come on, for heaven's sake. Hey. Let's go. Bring it here, you gloops. Buffalo Bob. Would you come in? We're waiting for That's it. That's a messenger. He uh, must have the adventure book. Come on, come on. Hurry up. Oh, for heaven's sake, these messengers nowadays. Come, oh, heaven, squeeze through, squeeze through. Uh, squeeze through, we're waiting. Oh, where have you been? We've been waiting for the book. Uh, you're late and I'm going to report you. That's what I'm going to do. What's your name? Myron. Myron what? Myron the messenger. Not what's your job, what's your name? The messenger, that's my last name. Oh, oh, I get it, like a Da Vinci. What's a Vinci? You mean you've never heard of Leonardo da Vinci, painter, sculptor, engineer, inventor, writer? Poor guy, he's like me. Can't hang on to a job. Oh, <laughs> come along, you twit. Hey. That's it. Come, come, the Howdy come, Doody come, Adventure come, Book. Come, come, oh, and now the show is saved. Thanks to the uh, messenger. Have we <laughs> met before? No, I don't think so. Then how do you know my name? Well, I don't. Oh, his name is Da Messenger. Myron Da Messenger. Oh. And I'm going to report him to his boss for being late. Oh. Don't do that, Mr. Muir. Now, look, Nicholson, I'm sure it wasn't his fault. He probably got uh, held up in traffic. 
You know, a lot of people are enjoying the Florida weather these days. Uh, I was in traffic, but I wasn't held up. Who'd want to hold up a poor guy like me? I got no money. I got nothing. Oh. And that's what I am, a big nothing. That's not true, Myron. You're right. I'm a little nothing. Now, wait a minute. Now, look, Myron. Later, I'm going to prove that you're absolutely wrong. But right now, we're on the air, and I've just got to read a story from the Howdy Doody Adventure Book. Oh, boy, this is great. And I... Well, what's this? Well, that's not the Howdy Doody Adventure Book. He sent us the wrong book. The Phantom of the Doodio Studio. Oh. The Doodio Studio? That's where we are now. No, Happy. Where we are now is in a spot called Big Trouble. Well, Howdy, what do you think we can possibly do to help this fella? Got any well, idea? boy, I sure don't know, Buffalo Bob. But, hey, wait a minute. Yeah. Maybe the peanut gallery can help. Hey, right, Howdy, a great idea. Now, look, all you peanuts out here, young and old, will you try to help me make Myron de Messenger really believe in himself? Will you do that for me? Yeah. Huh? All right, then we'll show Myron how it's done. Jackie, let's go. Are you ready? You know, Muhammad Ali in his training camp Kept saying, I'm the greatest, and he became the champ. And you can do the same for you. Keep thinking you're the greatest, and it may come true. That's right, why sure it is. Who can build a tower that can reach up to the sky? Ah! Who? Ah! Right. And who can keep a count on for an act of bravery? Me! Who? Me! Yes, sirree. And who can build a great big jet plane, one that can really fly? Whose work is always, always perfect? Whose work is always fine? And who's the greatest person anyone could ever be? Tell me, do you still feel that you're not as good as other people? Boy, do I ever. Those kids can fly jet planes and build towers and do their homework right. Every one of those kids is better than I am. Oh, it's no use. I'm just a hopeless case. Oh, now, wait a minute, Myron. You're not hopeless. Uh, do me a favor. Why, why don't you go uh, sit with the doodlers? Maybe they'll have something for you to do, okay? Okay, but... First, I gotta call my mother. Yeah, all right, there's a phone out in the corridor. Well, well, Isn't well, 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 what's going on here, Buffalo Bob? You've got your book. Now, why aren't you telling the story to these uh, dill pickles? No, the peanuts. But, and that, you know why? Because your nephew sent the wrong book, Nicholson. That's right. My nephew, Binky, yes. sent the wrong bookie. The wrong the book. book. Look, look, look at this. Oh, oh, the Phantom of the Dojo Stojo. This yeah, is terrible. Now, now, remember, Buffalo Bob, this was my nephew's mistake, not mine. I will not accept the blame. I will never accept the blame for anything. Oh. I don't have to. I'm a television executive. Yeah. Oh. There he goes. Nicholson Muir, the insecure. Well, Happy, we still have a lot of time to fill. I know. And we still don't have a story. Oh, hey, hey, Harmony, Happiny, Buffalo Barf. Hey, Harmony, come oh, here. Oh, yeah, Flob, yeah, Flob, yeah, yeah, Flob. What, what is it, Flob? Oh, listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. listen. I have an idea. Yeah, what is the idea? Well, yeah. why don't you read us the story about the fat man? Okay. 
What? The fat man? What fat man? Well, well in the book, that man brought you, you know, Messy the Myringer? <laughs> Messy. Love, it's Myron the Messenger. Yeah, but yeah like I said, you know, yeah. the book about the fat man. No, 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 Flub, look, it's, it's a phantom. And a phantom is a, is a creepy, mysterious character. Yeah, that sounds like a very exciting story, you know, the phantom of the dirty old studio. That's right, no, Flav, <laughs> it's not dirty old studio. Uh -uh. It's the Dudio studio, this place. Exactly uh -huh. right. Well, this studio doesn't look too clean either. Maybe somebody's been goofing off. Love, you never you hold know. Hold it a minute. Now, look, look, look. The title of the book is The Phantom of the Dudio Stu... <coughs> Wait a minute. Hey. Happy, I got a great idea. Why don't we read this story to the peanuts? Hey. Well, sure. Everybody loves mystery stories. Yeah. yeah, you see, that's what I was trying to tell you. I you know something, I would... Buffalo Bob? What? what? You always come up with brilliant ideas. Wait yeah, a minute. I'd say this is a real brain story. Just As a, a minute. matter of fact, come on, Happy, we'll get the story oh, started. Just a minute, I say. Wait there. a minute. I, that, that idea was... Oh, boy. Once, just once in my whole life, I come up with a good idea. You know, a real storm brain. And Buffalo Bob says it's his own idea. I, Love. I get... Huh? Oh, Love. We were only teasing you. Really? Weren't we happy? <laughs> and we know it was your idea. Ah. And we're going to let everyone in the whole world know that it was your idea. Wow. Love, it was a brilliant idea. What? What? You know something? Wah, wah, wah. We love you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. I I really didn't care too much, you know. It wouldn't have mattered to me who's... Oh. Oh, golly. Hammy <laughs> Harpenny kissed me. wow <laughs> Hey, Howdy, Dilly, good yeah, news. Right. The Flubber Up just came up with a terrific idea. Yeah. We're going to read this story to all the peanuts. Oh. The Phantom of the Studio Studio. Right. Oh, I love mystery stories. Goody -ga -do -ga -do. Look, do me a favor. Uh, find Mr. Muir and tell him to meet me on the story set, okay? Okay, Buffalo Bob. Okay, Buffalo Bob. Come on, Deli. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Boy, I'm busy. Oh, are, uh, are you ready to start the Phantom story, Buff? All set, Howdy. Here we go. And this is the story of the Phantom of the Dudio Studio. Hold it just one darn minute. What is it now? No way you're going to tell those Brussels sprouts about a phantom. Oh, not while I'm producer of this shoe. What? Oh, boy. And just when we had everything all set. Oh, golly. I want to hear about the phantom. And the doodle doo Studio. Right, Flub. <laughs> A story about a creepy, spooky phantom will scare the living daylights out of those millions of carrots who watch this shoe. No, peanuts. And they enjoy a good mystery the same as grown-ups do. He's right, Mr. Muir. Everybody likes stories about creepy ghosts and phantoms. Why, sure, it's all in fun, like when you go through the haunted house at the amusement park. Right. Kids, you know that the phantom in this story is not real, but just a, a make-believe storybook character. Don't you know that? Yeah. Why, sure. Now, look, all you peanuts who want me to read this story, please raise your hands and say, aye. All right. All right. Yeah. If the green peas want to listen to the phantom, then I guess I'm not afraid either. All right, good. Why don't you just sit down in this chair here while I read all the story? We'll be right back with a story about the phantom. Uh, let's get into the proper mood for this. Uh, Mr. Lighting Director, could you please uh, lower the lights just a bit? Ah, oh, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. The Phantom of the Dudio Studio, Chapter One. All day long, strange things had been happening in the Dudio Studio. One of the costumes was missing from the costume room, and all sorts of things disappeared suddenly and without explanation. And that night, when the night watchman came out of Mr. Cobb's prop room, he saw a weird figure race across the Howdy Doody studio and disappear behind the peanut gallery. The man was dressed completely in black, and he wore a black hood 
over his head. Oh, I know. That's so that nobody would know who he really was. That's right, Abby. And look, there is the picture of the Phantom right oh. there. How about that? See, even his cape is black. Isn't that amazing? Oh, he looks so creepy. He does, doesn't he? Mm. Well, don't take forever. I'd like to have a look, too. In a second, Nicholson, in a second, uh, in a second. Oh, Bob, yeah. something in see his eyes, the way they just kind of yeah. gleam yeah. through those eyes? Spooky. Spooky. Yeah. Looks scary, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, you know, I'll tell you. I do want you to remember something. And that's very important. Keep remembering. Uh, Phantom is not real. He's just a, a storybook character. You know that, I don't know, you? but imagine, just imagine if you were real. Just well, imagine. Buffalo Bob, I thought you were going to let me have a look at the picture. Well, you got the book. Go ahead and look at the picture. Go ahead. I gave the book to you. You did not. Well, of course he did, Mr. <laughs> Nicholson Muir. I was sitting right here, and you were sitting near. I saw him hand the book to you. You must have taken it. Well, How right. could I have taken it? I was taking a pebble out of my sneaker what? while you two were jabbering away. Now, wait a minute. Oh. Something is fishy here. What do you I think? didn't drop it. You must have taken it. Now, how could I have taken it? Do you see it on me? Oh, no. Hey, you're right. Oh, before Bob, before Bob. Well, we were so scared we couldn't talk. But, but it was the Phantom. Oh, he's right, Buffalo Bob. Oh, he was in the wall behind you. Yeah, okay. the fat man crawled out of the woodwork. I saw that guy with my own eyes and my own ears and my whiskers, and he was all dressed in black, and he looked real spooky. And uh, goodbye, everybody. Oh, oh good boy. Uh huh. Then there is a Phantom in the Dudio studio. But I'll look, Peanuts. Don't you worry. We'll find him if we have to search this studio from the top to the bottom. Not today you won't. Oh, there's no way you're going to talk me into paying these cameramen overtime. All right, fine. All right, kids, then you'll be with us the next time when we might find that phantom. We'll see you then. Come on, gang, let's start looking. Come on.